Good morning, we're going to brunch with some friends this morning. I am just making sure we have everything we need. Wipes, we have diapers, we need all the snacks. Anyways, we're running late per usual. Ben's coming with me today. We also just got in all of our KiwiCo crates, but more about KiwiCo later in the video. Ben's over here looking as cute as ever. Gentle. Gentle. Every month my friends and I meet for brunch. It's like our thing we do every single month. <laughs> Why do you look like such a yeah. big boy today? We've got to go, buddy. Ready? You look honorary. Those dude. pants that he's wearing were scarlets. Were they really? Yeah. Three. <laughs> she just lays there. <laughs> so it rained last night. There's rain all over my car. It smells like rain outside, and I kind of love it because we don't get this a lot. Anyways, I'm going to meet a bunch of my friends for brunch. There's Ty. He has to go to a real estate meeting thing today. So typically, I leave Ben with. Ty while I go do this for like a break and some girl time, but today it's not gonna work out. So Ben's coming with me and it is during nap time, so wish me luck. Hopefully he like behaves, which I'm sure he will. I'm wearing these brown leggings today from Halara and I'm kind of in love with them. They're so comfy. Dirty shoes are Adidas. These socks are from American Eagle. They're like a big chunky white sock. Sweatshirt is Amazon. It's a cropped hooded sweatshirt. This necklace that needs to be turned around is from Kendra Scott. Earrings are from my friend's shop for the love of clothing. This hair clip that I wear for all the time is also from my friend's shop for the love of clothing. Um, anyways, we need to go. It's 9.31. I'm supposed to be there at 9.30. He fell asleep just like this. Oh my gosh. There's no way I'm gonna be able to transfer him to the car. I'm here trying to get him loaded up. <laughs> I'm just walking around, letting him sleep for a second because he's still sleeping. I was gonna put him in the car, but I'm like, eh, I should probably just let him sleep for a second. We're at Joe's Farm Grill. That's where we came to eat today. And they grow all of their own ingredients that they use to cook. And I used to take Scarlet here all the time, so this is very nostalgic to me to be pushing my other baby here because we'd come here and walk and hang out. Looking up from my window, sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. We are home and I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about KiwiCo. I know I've talked about them so many other times on my channel, but we truly love them. We've been getting Kiwi crates for years. I think Scarlet was maybe two or three the first time we got one and we've loved them ever since. If you are not familiar with what KiwiCo is, they make seriously fun hands-on activities for kids and adults of all ages. So every other month, Ben gets a box and then every month, Scarlet gets a box. So this right here is the Panda Crate. It's for ages 13 to 18 months. This one is the Kiwi Crate. This is for ages five years and up. You definitely get the most out of KiwiCo when you do their subscription, but if you don't want to subscribe, KiwiCo also offers a variety of individual crates. Each crate is going to come with supplies, kid-friendly instructions. Depending on what crate you receive, it either is going to have multiple projects within or additional ways to customize the experiments you can do. I am a busy mom, but I love being hands-on with my kids, so it's nice to have all of this already planned out for me and to be able to sit down with Scarlett or with Ben and give them some one-on-one -on -one quality time and do these projects together. The convenience and the accessibility as a busy mom are just a few of the reasons why I love KiwiCo so much. Highly recommend KiwiCo if you want to try them out for yourself or for your kiddos. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description box and you can use my code Caitlin to get 50% off your first month of any of the lines. We're going to the gym as a family. I am a passenger princess. Ty is the passenger princess and he's making me the only time drive Caitlin. like a peasant. Oh, dang, dude. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to the gym to work out before Scarlett gets out of school. Ben's back there. He's only taken a nap in his stroller today, so. He's right. He's in pretty good I think he'll be okay, um, but when we get home, he'll probably go down for a pretty good nap. Guess what I got in? It's a pretty cool package, I'm not gonna lie. We just got home from the gym not too long ago, by the way. Ben's down from a nap. Scarlett's over here playing with her KiwiCo stuff. We're about to decorate the Christmas tree, actually. We've had it up for a while. However, I didn't have it decorated just because we needed the decorations for our holiday market we did with Lollico. And to be honest, I'm gonna need them again because we're doing another market in a few weeks. But we're gonna go ahead and decorate the tree. Otherwise, it's literally never gonna happen and we're just gonna have an empty Christmas tree up all 
Christmas. Anyways, back to the box. What's in the box? It is a bunch of disco balls. A bunch of disco balls. Yes. Look at, look at that disco ball. It's massive. Isn't that cool? I have one. I know you have one. We're using these as props for a Molly Co. photo shoot. We're doing like a disco galaxy theme for our galaxy pajamas and it's gonna be like a New Year's vibe. All right, picture it now. These are our galaxy pajamas. We're gonna have a bright white background, galaxy pajamas, and the disco ball. I feel like it's gonna be a vibe and it's gonna work. Ty is very excited about these pajamas, by the way, because he designed these. So go support Ty and his design and check these out when they are released. They are nothing like we've ever had at Lolly Co, but they are so, so fun. I'm loving like the bolder colors. They're the bamboo pajamas, same style as the other ones we have. Um, so the fold over hands. Fold over feet, size newborn to 18 to 24 months. In fact, I just placed a large order for big kid sizes. Not in these, they will not come in these, but um, you want these? Well, maybe we'll have to order these too. But starting in like February and March, we are gonna start offering sizes all the way up to size six, seven. So we're gonna start carrying two piece sets in the bamboo pajamas in size 12, 18, 18 to 24, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven. And if you're a neutral girly, you're gonna love the collection that the big kid sizes are being released with. It's time to decorate the tree. I just brought in all of our Christmas ornaments. Ty's in the shower and as soon as he gets out, he's gonna come help us. Finn is sleeping, so he is unfortunately not gonna be part of this, but I think that's okay. He would just be getting into everything and throwing these balls, to be completely honest. He would just try to throw these on the ground and bounce them. So this is probably for the best. Um, but I don't really have a direction of how we are gonna decorate our tree. We're definitely putting some of these disco balls on the tree just because they make like the lighting so cool when the sun hits it. Going through sentimental ornaments, and I found this one my mom gave me from when I was a little kid. It's this little like <laughs> Christmas list. I'm gonna post it on, <laughs> on my story, I'll tag you. So I'm guessing I was like six or seven when I made this, and here's what I wanted for Christmas when I was that age. A Game Boy, a Sega game, a basketball spelled B-A-S-C-E-T, a baby sister, which I got three of those, so thank you, mm -hmm. Mom. Uh, my own room, that's all. I literally wrote, that's all. Okay, tree is decorated. It's a very random Christmas tree, but that is okay because we have all of our sentimental ornaments on there, which make it so special. Scarlet made this when she was in kindergarten. I've got the one that I just showed you, my Christmas list. Scarlet made this one in school. The string that's inside this globe is as tall as she was at the time that she made this ornament. I think this was in 2021. Um, so I think that's so cute. We have Indy's paw print over here. This one down here is a reindeer of Scarlet's hand when she was in kindergarten. Poor Ben, like he doesn't have any pictures up in our house. He doesn't even have a name tag for his stocking. <laughs> We really need to get him one. We just got done with the tree and I totally forgot I was gonna do this today. It does look good. Um, but I have some questions I was gonna answer. I asked you guys on Instagram oh, and I haven't so done it for, um, for a hot minute. And I thought we could answer some questions today. Lots of people are asking if I still use an editor for my videos. And the main answer is no, I still have him but I've been doing a lot of my videos myself. So here's why it wasn't working. Basically, I am not able to organize my life enough, <laughs> honestly. Um, so I have deadlines for brands. And in order to hit those deadlines, I have to have the video ready to be submitted. So in order to hit the deadlines and get the editor, in between that, I have to film the video like three to four more days, even more in advance, which means my videos are pushed out to being like a week and a half to two weeks, if not longer turnaround time. So the relevance is just not 
ideal for me. I feel like my videos were being pushed back too much and what I was posting wasn't even like relevant to my life at the moment. <laughs> so um, there was too much of a lag of turnaround time that I wasn't loving. And honestly, I just could not stay organized. So that's kind of like the main reason um, that I've been doing a lot of my editing myself. I still have them for like occasions when I, I like really need help with a video, but I've just been doing a lot of it myself, which means I've been staying up really late recently. Like every night I've been up till 1.30. I've never seen you stay at this late ever, consistently. I'm not happy about it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. It's terrible. It's pretty crazy. If it's not editing, it's um, Lolly Co. How old was Ben when he started sleeping through the night? He was like eight and a half months, I think. Really? Yeah, once really he started... Soon? No, once he started like solid sleeping through the night, it was eight and a half months. I remember, trust me. Why do I not remember? I don't know. I thought it was earlier than that, but I think you're right. No, I'm not saying you're wrong. So consistently, yeah. there would been yeah, yeah, there had been like nights where he'd slept through the night, but mm. like consistently where I could go to bed confidently and know I'm not gonna see him until morning was around eight and a half months. After we stopped like breastfeeding and um I don't know, it just finally started to happen around eight and a half months. This girl was sleeping through the night when she was twelve weeks old, so yeah. big difference there. Somebody said, I'm sad about no videos during the holidays, but you deserve the break. I don't know what you mean. We're still posting videos through the holidays. Yeah. I'm confused. I'm going to have to ask her. So no worries. Lots of videos still to come. How did you help with Ben food shoveling? I, he just did it. Yeah, he just did it. I don't really know. Like, there's no answer to that. He, he just, still does it. Yeah, he's gotten better, though. I think they yeah, just like, kind of sure. grow out of it and yeah. they learn as they like develop. And um, they, they just learn. It's not something I feel like you can teach... Um, I mean, you can lead by example, you can show them the right way to eat, but at the end of the day, they're going to do what they want to do and they just have to kind of learn as they develop and grow. But anyway, Scarlett is decorating her Christmas tree in her room right now and she's been like dying to show you guys. So yeah, let's, wants, let's like, go see her, her twice. Christmas, like, tree. Christmas tree. I know. Here's my tree. Scarlett is very proud of her Christmas tree and her room. It looks so cute. Benny is just waking up from his nap. We gotta show him the tree. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Hi, sweet boy. Let's take off your sleep sack. Get your sticker off from the gym still. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh, come here. Oh, hi, sweet boy. It's hard to wake up, huh? Oh, you got another baby sleeping. Whoa! <laughs> what do you think? Then I can touch. <laughs> you can touch that. My touch. Touch. Gentle. But kind of. <laughs> it's a little bit Good job. That's me. Yeah, that's yours. A few things. I am about to pick up my entire house because tomorrow my mother-in-law is actually staying at our house because Ty and I are taking an overnight vacation, staycation, whatever you want to call it. But our friend's turning 40 and we're going to celebrate his birthday just like in the town next to us. Um, so my mother-in-law is staying with the kids and I want to like make sure my house is nice and clean for her. So I'm literally going to be up so late tonight cleaning my house, scrubbing my house. Um, second thing, I'm about to change my clothes. I'm in my closet, um, which is a disaster. I have blood all over me because Ben just like busted his lip. He bit through like his lip, not completely, but it was enough to like cause a lot of blood. <laughs> it's pretty scary. Um, and there's like blood all over me now. So I need to change. Third thing, I was laying in the playroom with the kids, just like playing with them. And I, and I literally fell asleep. That's like never happened. I mean, it's happened, but like that hasn't happened for a very long time. I probably took like a 15, 20 minute power nap. Scarlett thought it was hilarious. She like took pictures of me and everything and then like texted them to me. So I woke up to like these pictures of me sleeping. But that power nap literally was everything and it's gonna power me through tonight. I know it. This set is seriously so comfy. Like I'm forever young And I 